Now, a lot of the models that we've had here on Model Mania have been boats, locomotive and planes, but they have been from the past. Now, Mr. Adrian Appleyard has built himself a very impressive replica of a military helicopter that hasn't even been seen yet. In fact, it's top secret. Take a look at this. So Adrian, not your run-of-the-mill helicopter, this one? Definitely not, Kevin, no. No, it's quite a, it's quite a special helicopter, is this. Um, it, it's a German and French military design. It's a prototype. And um, the real one hasn't been seen by the public as yet. Not that I'm aware of. How have you got all your information? There's a, a website which has got an, a model enthusiasts on and full-size enthusiasts. And I downloaded all the information off the web to get the colour scheme and the detail and, and everything on it. Right. Well, what happens when you see the real thing and you've missed a bit? <laughs> oh, well, that'll probably happen, <laughs> yeah. I'll oh, be a prototype, you see, you can get away with it. Right. Okay. Because there's no one identical model. There's, there's five prototypes being built, uh, and only, only four now out of the five are in, ex in existence. So with a helicopter of this size, what's the most difficult thing to put together? I think it's the detail. Getting the detail right is, is, is extremely time consuming and, and very important because you, you can get it wrong. Yeah. But enjoy, enjoyable at the same time. Very right? enjoyable. Yeah. Very therapeutic. Very therapeutic. So what about the, when, you, when you buy the kit, is all these, did you hand paint these, the green and the black, is that the, all the kit, on it? it, it it's a fiberglass fuse large. You get a fiberglass fuse large and you put the plywood um, panels in to, to strengthen it. Uh, on all the details, all the rivets are done separately, they're all drilled and, and What, you put all place. these little ones in like that? All the rivets have been, every one, one of them. One by yeah. one? Yeah, there's, there's 1,500 rivets in it. Plus or minus a rivet. <laughs> I'm going to count them, you know. <laughs> well, you can count them, yeah. count count them. them yeah. And with it being so big as well, how difficult is it to fly compared to the other ones, the smaller ones? It's difficult to fly because it's a scale model. Um, they, they usually have. When you, when you start building scale aircraft, any type of aircraft, they'll become more inherently more difficult to fly. This is twice as hard because it's got a, it's got a, ro a four-bladed rotor head on it. Uh -huh. There's no fly bar which most model helicopters That's have. That's right, yeah, because... It's yeah. true scale and it is, it's quite difficult. It's a handful to fly. It's a handful to fly. Very nice. Now there is one area of modelling that we haven't tapped into and if Mr Lever is involved, it's got to involve it hot.